center back. I'm kind of short, but this week. No, but uh, good Tuesday practice. I loved the enthusiasm. Had some good execution. I uh, got things in offense, defense. Good, good bounce in their step. Uh, good look in their eye, and hopefully we'll carry it on this week. But I really liked how we're practicing. Again, I keep saying we're learning how to practice and play better. Those young guys eliminating some little mistakes, some little things. Just you know how they line, how they run a route, how they block, how they cover. I mean, those young players on, all, on both sides of the ball are just getting better and better. It's fun to watch. Questions? Can you tell how they handle a short week, or is that something you can't tell? To well, you don't do it, but right now they're doing it. I mean, they've, they've got good preparation. Their minds are into it. They're uh, set quick. I mean, we put, you know, you had to speed it up real quick, and they've done a good job. So this is like most of the whole week, right? Because tomorrow is more like a Thursday. More like a Thursday. We got some stuff. We get red zone third down. We'll, we'll put in. We'll keep in and do some clean up there. But it'll be more like a Thursday. Type. You kind of have to decide. Like prioritize what's important and what's less important on a No, team. you know, you got, no, you, you know, it's all important. You just got to find time to do it all. And, and you may have to minimize some of that. You normally, you normally don't get as much time doing it, but still, to, each of them got to get the same amount of work. But then you got a couple areas that may bother you. Like you say, maybe get a player two more. How is Trey responding to concussion testing? Trey, good. Really good. Practiced all day, day. Good. Good. Uh, again, I thought it'd be good last week until the end. Uh, I mentioned last week uh, Nooney's maturation process. How do you think he's handled being sort of the talk of the town over the last two weeks? Oh, he'll, he'll talk back. <laughs> I think it, no, he's, he's fun. He, he, he seems to be doing okay. Didn't hurt him in practice. Came out and worked today. With guys like that, is it easier to you know, move around when you're that kind of size? <laughs> or is it, you know, nah, I, I don't think it has anything to do with size. It has to do with ability. I mean, like KB was a giant guy. You can move him anywhere you want. He can play inside, outside. I mean, it's just it was physical ability. And then the ability to learn. You got to be able to be smart, too. How has uh, AJ Westbrook come along since you got I've like really early, you know, just kind of tentative when he played, but now he just starting to come out of his shell and making plays. And just, he's never, he's always a quiet type guy. And man, you just see his body language a lot better now. It really does. I see improvement from uh, third down defense, stay in practice. Well, we didn't hit third down today. Okay. We'll go through third down, uh, a minimal third down. We did some of third down today. We did there. Yeah, I have. I have. Uh, Jameis and all those guys were. All those guys were in cell. All the great players we've ever had here, even uh, like Telvin, our defensive player, offensive player, all those great ones are all unselfish. That's what makes him great. But he is a very unselfish player. What when is the decision to do senior day uh, for this game on the floor again? I've always done it that way. I moved and did this four years ago. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's the fourth time we, we moved it. Uh, 2012 was the last time we did it. Then. You felt like the emotions. Though. Yeah, after the, the emotions and the whole set of the Florida, that stuff, and you know that that's not, it has nothing to do with Boston College, but just that rivalry and, and all the things that go with it, man. It, it just, you know, it can cause some tough things and when you're getting in that. And I just we just always elected to do it this way. Who? No. In the gym. Well, I guess I guess the guys are doing the touchdown drive for uh, uplifting athletes. Yeah, they are doing that. That then goes into kids first and the uplifting athletes for uh, what we're doing. So hopefully we'll play well. <laughs> Any difference between you know, the short week you know, when you were playing Boston College compared to two years ago when they played here and raining and stuff like that? No, nah, it was a, it was just some normal week, but that yeah, they were really good then. They were real good on defense again, and they hit your team again. I mean, that was a heck of a game that night. And, uh, the way they did things, but no, they're, they're a very similar type team. Can you talk about some of the things they do differently compared to some of the teams? Or no, they're not different. They just do what they do well. I mean, you know, their their schemes aren't. It's not that they're. I mean, they do their own little tweak and turn of things, but they just are coached. They do a great job. They keep great leverage. They play great pad level on offense. They're very physical. They run the ball. They mix the speed sweeps in. The quarterbacks are getting better. They're very sound, especially they're just a very well coached team. Yeah, but you guys have a lot of sophomores that are having productive years and starting and things like that. Is that just the nature of college football now? It is. It is. I mean, when you get, I mean, you're, you're in a thing about nine, you got 15 seniors and nine scholarship seniors. I mean, when you're in that, those guys got to be the guys. And when you're, and if you have a program that produces players, you're going to have those voids like that where so many young guys have to, that's just the nature of the beast now. How have you seen guys like Dobbin and Travis kind of preach that on to the younger players? Because you start to, they played as freshmen. Well, they did. And, 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 and keep installing and, and Letting them watch them practice has been the key, you know what I mean, of how to work. And I think that's the best thing those upperclassmen can do. Talk to them, but then demonstrate without not just lip service, but how to go out and work. You know, DeMarcus and, and Marquez, they, they were guys that wanted to have to be the first in this in this program to have two championships. And now the focus kind of changed towards, you know, bringing on that culture for the younger players. 
What can you say to them just, you know, doing that? And well, and that's what we talked about. I mean, that's your job. That's their legacy they're leaving and what they've done. I mean, this, this group here, they've won as many games as anybody. I mean, they've had tremendous careers, and uh, they want to leave that legacy, and they want to come out here with a, with a great taste in their mouth about what they've done here and how they've done it and, and set the example. And, and to me, that's what character is about. Both of them have it. Good. Good. Thank you all.